Hello everyone and welcome back to my Enjoy Mechatronics YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to control an RGB LED using an app. You could find this app for free on Google Play Store. As you can see, I can set any color by changing the RGB values. For example, if we mix the red with the blue, we can find a purple color. You could also use the color wheel. So before we get started, make sure to like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. Also make sure to watch my previous videos about the RGB LED and let's jump right into it. So in this video, you will need an Arduino board. I'm using an Arduino Uno. The breadboard. Of course, you need the RGB LED so that we can change its color. Three ohm resistors to protect the RGB LED. And finally, you will need a Bluetooth module like the HC05, which we're gonna hook up to the Arduino board so that we can use the Bluetooth feature. First of all, we are going to connect the RGB LED. Basically, it has four pins, which are labeled RGB and the GND pin, which we're gonna hook up to the GND of the Arduino. First, I'm gonna fix it on the breadboard. And let's take one of the ohm resistors so that we can protect the red LED. The same thing for the green and blue pins. After that, let's connect the GND, which is on the left side, to the GND of the Arduino, like this pin. Make sure that the ohm resistors are connected. Then let's take one of these wires and connect the red pin to the digital pin number 9, so that we can control the red value. Then the green, which goes to the pin number 10. And finally, the blue pin, which goes to the pin number 11. Of course, make sure to use the pins that has the squiggly sign, like 9, 10, and 11. Now we can move on to the HC05 Bluetooth module. Basically, we're going to use four pins, which are labeled RX, TX, Ground, and VCC. The VCC of the module goes to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino and the GND goes to the GND. Then we have the RX and the TX pins. The RX pin goes to the TX pin of the Arduino, which is number one. And the TX pin goes to the RX pin of the Arduino, which is number zero. I'm gonna hook it up to the breadboard. Then I'm gonna take a red wire to connect the VCC of the Bluetooth module to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino and the GND goes to the GND of the Arduino then we have the RX and the TX pins first I'm gonna connect the TX pin of the Bluetooth module to the RX pin of the Arduino which is number 0 and finally the TX pin sorry the RX pin of the module goes to the TX pin of the Arduino board. Now we can move on to the Arduino IDE. But before that, you will need to take this USB cable and connect the Arduino board from this side. And the other side needs to be connected to the computer so that we can upload the code. Of course, you will find the circuit image as well as the Arduino sketch of this project. First of all, you will need to load the software serial library and it is built in, you don't need to install it externally. Then we can create the Bluetooth object, the type is software serial. I've called it my blue or my Bluetooth. This takes the RX and the TX pins, which are number 0 and 1. Then we've added the pin numbers, like the red pin, which is number 9, the green pin is number 10, and the blue pin is number 11. Under the setup function, 
I've used my Bluetooth.begin to begin the serial communication with a baud rate 9600. Then we have to set the pin mode. For example, we need to use the red pin as an output. The same thing for the green and the blue pins. We need to use these as outputs. Then under the loop function, we are using my Bluetooth.available. If it's greater than zero, that means that we have sent the RGB values using the app. In such case, we can read the red value using my int, which takes a red intensity between 0 and 255, then assign it to the red value variable. In fact, the app sends this kind of string each time we select a color, which contains the red value that we can read using int and set it under this variable. Then if we use parse int again, it will take the green value, like 50, and put it under the green value variable. And finally, if we call it again, it's going to take the blue value and put it under the blue value variable. After that, we can set a color using these variables. Basically, I've created a set color function that takes the red, green, and the blue values. So a function is a piece of code that has a specific task like setting a color. For example, I've used this set color function, which takes the red, green, and blue values. Then it will use the analog write command to set the red value. The first parameter is the pin, which is the red pin. Then the value, the same thing for the green and the blue. And finally, I've created another function, which clears the serial buffer to make sure it is empty before we read another color. The function is called serial flash. And the same thing, it is created under here. Basically, it is checking if we have string inside the buffer using my Bluetooth.available greater than zero. In such case, we are reading the value so that we can empty the serial buffer. Anyways, let's upload the code and test the project. But before that, you will need to go to tools then you need to select the board, which is an Arduino Uno, then the port, which is COM3. And before you upload the code, make sure to remove the RX and the TX pins, because the Arduino IDE is using these two pins to upload the code. And once it gets uploaded, you could give these back, and they have this C shell. To see the color much better, I'm gonna put it on top of the RGB LED. Of course, it's not needed. Now we can use this app that is called RGB LED Control. You could download it from the Google Play Store. First, you need to open up the Bluetooth or hit Allow. As you can see, it is turned on. Then we can go under the Bluetooth list so that we can connect to the Bluetooth module. As you can see, it is called HC05. Just click on it. Now we can select any color using the RGB values. As you can see, it is red. We can select a green color. You could also use the color wheel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. And I will see you in the next one.